Hey guys, what's up? So I am back from Coachella, obviously, and right now I'm back home in Connecticut kind of like resting and relaxing because it was an absolutely crazy weekend and I have been absolutely exhausted. Um, but today I'm gonna film a little Coachella Q&A for you guys. So I had you ask me questions on Instagram and Twitter and I'm just gonna be answering them because obviously I vlogged the whole weekend, but um, I left a lot of questions unanswered I guess because I didn't really um, like narrate it because I was kind of busy obviously um, but yeah so I'm gonna be answering those for you guys today um, so let's see so the first question is what's your favorite part so I have like two favorite parts the first one is um, like the smaller morning performers because it's really fun to go and like see them and then you know in a few years They might like blow up and then you can be like oh my god Yeah, like three years ago. I saw them at Coachella when they were like super small So that's really fun and then also just like the fashion aspect of it because people wear the most crazy stuff and seeing All of the different kinds of fashion is so cool And then also like me getting to pick outfits and like putting on literally whatever I want and just knowing that like I'm not gonna be the craziest dressed person person there is so fun um a huge fashion like trend this year is people having their asses out which I think is literally insane um I would personally obviously never do that um but it was definitely interesting to see the way people incorporated that into their outfits so the next question is is this your first year going and this is actually my third year so yeah experienced Coachella goer um Coachella addict <laughs> um <laughs> The next question is what's the best year you went so far honestly that's so hard to answer because all three years have been absolutely amazing but I honestly think that the first year was just such a different experience because I'd never been before and everything was so new and crazy I think that might be my favorite year but it's really hard because all three years have been so different and honestly all so amazing like there haven't been any bad experiences so I don't really ah, I don't know that's really hard all right, who was your favorite performer? By the way, I love you. Oh, I love you too. I think that my favorite performer was Billie because she was way more hype than I thought she was gonna be because a lot of her songs are kind of slower and you know, obviously have a different tone, but she made it so much fun and we like danced the whole time and it was so much different than I expected. And she obviously is amazing. Like she's 17 and she performed at Coachella. Like that's wild. And um, she sounds, beautiful live so I would think that Billy was my favorite um how was Ari okay so Ariana Grande was good like I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying this but I really think that her performances are overrated like she did a really amazing job but it definitely like wasn't my favorite set I guess I would say um but also for a lot of the time she like had a mic instead of like holding a microphone and she had so many people on stage that it was like really hard for me to like find her like I didn't know who I didn't know where she was on stage a lot of the time which was kind of hard to yeah I don't know but she was she was good like it's not like she was bad I just think that you know people make her this huge like hyped up thing when she's good like she's good she's great her music's fun but whatever she also didn't sing imagine which is like my favorite song by her and I know it's like about Mac Miller and I know it's hard for her to perform so I don't mean that in a selfish way but I was kind of sad that she didn't sing that um but yeah what were the crowds like? Okay, so the crowds are huge, obviously, and it's really a huge mix of people. There are people that come from like Australia for this, and then there's obviously locals, and people aren't like as aggressive as some other like city festivals. Everyone's kind of relaxed and just like having a good time and that kind of thing, which is nice, and everyone's really friendly. We made so many friends, which I love. Um, but yeah, just so many people, so many people. Um, was it hard to get up close? So since we had artist passes, there's like a separate artist viewing area that like puts you right in the front. So for us, it wasn't, but I know for like general admission and VIP, it is really, really hard to get up close. Um, you know, if you want to be like in the front or towards the front, you honestly have to wait there like all day, which I would never do. But I think the people that were in front for the headliners were probably sitting at the main stage all day waiting, which no, not my thing. Um, but yeah. Okay. Were there a lot of mosh pits? So again, in 
artist like in the artist viewing area not really because most people are kind of there like relaxing socializing enjoying the music but you know not going crazy there was one mosh pit I saw an artist during um, DJ snake and actually it was the mosh pit that the Dolan started and um, it didn't last very long and people around were not very happy about it um, I was in general mission for murder beats and there were a lot of mosh pits and someone actually like, stepped on my leg and I have this like it's like this big I have a huge bruise on my leg it's like black and blue um so that was my one <laughs> general admission experience and it was not good but um yeah so it's kind of a mix it also depends on the artist have you ever gone on the ferris wheel love you you looked stunning every day oh I love you too thank you um and I did go on the ferris wheel actually um the past two years but this year we just didn't go I don't know we didn't really think about it we didn't have time for it honestly and so we didn't go but it's really fun it's so cool to like look over the whole festival because it's huge um was there a long line to get on the ferris wheel yes so you have to get on one line to buy a ticket and then after you get on that line you have to get on another line to actually ride the ferris wheel so it kind of is time consuming but i honestly do think it's worth it at least once um is coachella all it's hyped up to be i honestly think yes i think that it's an amazing experience and it's something that you know is so special because it's not just listening to music it's just like the fashion the art installations the whole experience you know especially for people from the east coast like california is far and it's such a different vibe than a lot of the festivals we have here um and i think that it's an amazing amazing experience like yes of course it's really dusty and really crowded and you know there are a lot you know not a lot there are some you know downsides but in the end i think that it's crazy and it's definitely amazing so yeah it's very hype i think it's very i think it's all it's hyped up to be if that's the right wording is it your favorite event you've been to honestly i think it is up there for talking like music festival wise i think that every year it's grown on me and i love it but then also you guys know that i have such a special place in my heart for gov ball especially because it's a little bit more convenient um but they're two very different festivals and those are probably my top two favorites um are you going next year? I want to come for real. I really hope I get to go again. Um, if I do get to go again, I know who's going to come with me. Um, so you can't come. But I really hope I get to go again. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Were there more people at night or during the day? Definitely at night. Like, it's pretty empty in the morning. And then around 3 or 4 p.m. Or maybe a little bit later. Around 4 or 5 p.m. People start pouring in like you there's multiple entrances and you just see so many people coming in and then all of a sudden it's like sunset and it's packed and you're like holy crap when did this happen um but earlier in the day it's pretty empty a lot of people go and take pictures and you know it's way more low-key which is kind of nice um what was your favorite fit and why okay I have two favorite outfits. I think the my first favorite outfit is the one that I wore to the Dolls Kill party that I didn't actually wear to the festival. I'll put a picture in. This top is actually from Dolls Kill and the bralette under is from Forever 21. My shorts are ASOS and my belt is also Dolls Kill. Even though the top was really uncomfortable because it kept riding up on me, I think that it was just really cool and fun and the mask looked good with it, whatever. Anyways, that one. And then also the other one that I really liked was my day three outfit. I'm wearing the same outfit that I did yesterday and I just had some fun hair extensions from Bella Mai, Bella Me, I don't know. Thought I would spruce it up a little bit. Even though it was kind of simple, the like fanny pack and the jewelry and the hair all dressed it up. And especially the hair. I miss I miss my long hair. Um, I loved it. I think it was so fun. A lot of people, like some of my friends were like, oh, did you like dye your hair last night? And I was like, my hair isn't this long. Like, what are you talking about? But you know, um, I think it ended up looking really good and coming together really well. And I think without the hair, it would have been kind of boring, but in the end, I honestly was obsessed with that outfit. I took so, so many pictures in it that I want to post on Instagram, but I know that you guys are definitely getting ignored with my Instagram posts. Um, but yeah. Where are your favorite places to get music festival clothes? So we have talked about this um, a lot, as you guys know, but I will say it one more time. Dolls Kill, Reb Dolls, Forever 21, ASOS, is that it? Amazon, I think that's it. Um, you guys know, I think we've gone over this a lot. Did you stay at Coachella the whole day? Like, did you never leave the grounds? So since we were only a golf cart away from our tents, obviously, um, I think actually every day we went back at one point. I think Friday, like, night we went back to grab. I actually changed completely. I put on different shorts, different top, a hoodie, um, and, like, we grabbed a different portable charger and all that. And then 
Saturday we had to go back because my lashes were falling off and that was really annoying. And then actually Sunday, I don't know if we went back or not. I don't think we did. But yeah, so yes, we did kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um, okay, how much was VIP? I'm not sure. I think it's a thousand dollars. We didn't have VIP, so I don't know. I wanna say it's a thousand, but I could be wrong. But I think I'm right. <laughs> Are the tickets expensive? Um I mean it depends what ticket you get. I think that GA is five hundred and I think VIP is a thousand. Um, anything above that you can't just buy so I think that it's worth it I guess it depends on you know expensive is something that's relative um, but I think that it is worth it um, how did you get an artist wristband so I am very lucky that my really good friend um, has access to all of that cool stuff and he helps us out which was amazing um, how did you get into neon carnival that's the same thing um, my friend got us in and it was really 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 cool um crazy craziest after party um once you get in like everything's free pretty much and there are just so many car like rides and food and games and tons of like celebrities and it's just it's just a crazy crazy fun experience um no one really asked that but whatever <laughs> Did you do drugs? No, I did not do drugs. I've never done drugs and I will never do drugs, especially not at a festival because that's really dangerous. Um, do a lot of people drink slash do drugs at the festival? Yes. Plenty or many, many people drink um, slash do drugs, especially at Coachella. Is it weird for people to be sober there? Um, definitely not. There's tons of people who are completely sober and I honestly think that it's like a safer decision because, you know, you're there for three days, every day is long and it's really hot. So, you know, you wanna take care of yourself and stay hydrated and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, putting other things into your body just like is not a great idea. Um, did you see people at Coachella on drugs? Yes, <laughs> most definitely. Um, <laughs> Best person you met there. God, this is really hard. Everybody. Everybody was amazing. Um, I cannot pick one. Like, everyone was amazing. So, I'm not going to pick one. How many celebrities did you see and how many did you meet? I actually don't know, but Mads made a list. So, let me go to that. Okay, so here's those celebrities that we saw but didn't meet. Um... Leah Michelle, Kaya Gerber, Five Seconds of Summer, um, the cast of 13 Reasons Why, Chris Humphreys, Maddie Ziegler, Frankie Gondé, Bryant, Jaden Smith, Haley Bieber, um, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Cody Simpson, um, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, Vanessa Hudgens, Katy Perry, Tyga, and Orlando Bloom. And then we met James Charles, The Vlog Squad, Halsey and Youngblood, um, Kendall Jenner, the Dolan Twins, Emma Chamberlain, Hannah Maloche, um, Summer McKean, and Ava Jules, and Marshmallow, and Alexis Wren. Did I repeat some? I don't know. Did I just repeat myself? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's the full list. There you guys go. Are all the celebrities you meet in person the same as they are on social media? Um, no. I think that especially like Kendall Jenner and Alexis Ren and like those like model kind of people I think they're a lot more intimidating on social media because they're this you know they have this huge platform and they're so famous and you know all this stuff but they're really honestly like nice down-to-earth people so I think that they're not the same as they are on social media but I think I say that in like a good way not a bad way um but yeah okay then I got a ton of questions about Halsey I need more info on when you met H was Halsey a really nice person when you met her was Halsey nice what's the deal with the necklace why were you crying when you met Halsey okay so I guess that if you guys know me and you guys know the story fast forward because you have all heard this but um you know everyone knows I love Halsey and I wasn't like going into the weekend I wasn't expecting to meet her or see her I wasn't even sure if she was going um but then I saw a snap or an Instagram story where she said she was in Palm Springs so I was like oh she's probably going and literally three hours into the festival on Friday like we were just leaving Casey Musgraves walking back into artists like in the artist compound and <laughs> walking straight towards me is Halsey and Youngblood and I was just like I was literally like, is this real? It didn't feel real. Um, so I stopped her and I'd gotten her a necklace a while ago and I had it in my bag so I gave that to her and we talked and she like knew who I was. She remembers everyone. If you guys 
you know, a lot of you guys don't know about her, but she remembers all of her fans, literally. So she knew exactly who I was. She, like, knew my Twitter username. Um, she was so kind. She honestly spent, like, 15 minutes with us. We took a bunch of pictures, and then she said hi to my vlog, and then... I kept it together, I was so proud of myself, I didn't cry like in the moment, but after I was just so overwhelmed that I like, wasn't ready for that, I literally started bawling, like I just totally broke down, um, as you guys saw in my last video, but I took that second video of me crying like 15 minutes after I just stood in the artist compound and cried and like caught my breath and just like couldn't even believe that that had just happened um but yeah and like the rest of the weekend it was so cute because you know we'd walk by each other and she'd always wave and she'd you know just like be really sweet and at one point she's like are you having a good time and you know whatever and Youngblood was also really cute and sweet um they're so cute together I saw them so many times like in the artist viewing area like dancing and being so cute and it just made me what a boyfriend, so bad, um, but also I'm really happy that they're both really happy together. It seemed like they had a really good time, and then obviously on, um, was it Sunday? Yeah, on Sunday night, she sang East Side with Khalid live, which was absolutely amazing. Um, I'd seen them both sing it separately, but I'd never seen them sing it together, so that was so cool. But, um, yeah, I think that's it about them. Um, so next, are you and Tana super close? Um, I don't know if like super close is the right word. I think that like we both obviously like know who each other are and we follow each other on Twitter and um, you know she always like retweets or likes when I post videos so she's helped me like so much get exposure on YouTube. Like I've gotten comments where people have said I love your channel like I found you through Tana you know that kind of thing. We like DM on Twitter a tiny bit um, and you know when I see her she like knows who I am and stuff. And it's honestly just really nice. Like, it makes me feel really, like, loved. And she put me on her Instagram story again the other day when I um, posted a picture of us. She, like, reposted on her Instagram story and was like, I love you. Um, and she's just really kind. Like, you know, she's crazy. But I, I literally absolutely love her for that. Um, but also, I think she watches my videos. So, hi, girl. I love you. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, are the Dolan twins as hot in real life? Oh, yes. They are beautiful beautiful human beings like they are literally perfect like on I think it was Saturday they were like walking around with their shirts or maybe it was Saturday and Sunday where they had their shirts unbuttoned and I was like wow they are just so hot like I I have no words about that <laughs> um okay are Ethan and Emma dating I obviously have no idea my personal opinion is yes they are um when I met them on I think it was Friday they were with Emma and I was like, and I didn't even realize at first and then I was like, oh, hello. And I think it was on Saturday where I saw Ethan and Emma like sitting, this is, sounds so stupid, but I saw them like sitting on a couch together back in the artist compound, like behind some trees. Not that they were doing anything, but you know, they just seem really close. And I mean, I'm not saying they can't just be best friends, but like, I think also part of me hopes that they're dating because I think they'd make a really cute couple. So I don't really know, but I think so. I don't know. I like don't want to start tea. Um, <laughs> okay. In what areas of Coachella did you see the Dolan twins during the three days? Um, I saw them in artists the whole time. Um, I never saw them anywhere else. I think they definitely were in VIP at one point though. Did you ask Hannah why she wasn't friends with Emma? No, I did not. Um, <laughs> I think in one of um, Ellie Thuman's videos at one point, she kind of talked about it and she just said that, you know, all of their careers were kind of going in different directions and they were all really busy. So they're all still like friends, but they're just not as close. So I don't really know if something happened, but it doesn't really seem like it something happened. You know, they were all at Coachella with Dote together. Um, they seem fine, but also like that's kind of a disrespectful question to ask. I feel like, you know, that's their private life. Didn't really want to bring that up. And they were also, all three of the, um, the dope girls that I met were like so kind and stuff. So yeah. Um, how is Billy? Was she super nice? Billy was so nice. I was like so nervous to go up to her. I don't know why, because she's literally just like seven, you know, she's like 17, but she just like has this like big, like, she's like big energy and she like just you know had this whole camera crew with her and she had her glasses on and she was like riding a razor scooter around artists but she had stopped and I kind of was like you know what like I'm gonna go up to her so I went up to her and I was like hi I'm Sammy and she was so nice she gave me a big hug um I was like you're gonna do amazing tonight she's like no dude I'm so nervous and I was like no you're literally gonna kill it and then um she told me that she liked my Tana merch so I was literally like oh my god I have to tell Tana she's literally gonna die and when Tana found out she literally died um <laughs> But yeah, so she was super nice. We got a picture, um, and as I said before, she was an amazing, amazing, amazing 
performer. Um, but yeah, okay, so next, my camera literally just stopped filming for no reason, so I really love that for me. Um, but I'm pretty sure it got everything. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so the next and last question is how are the safari tents? So the safari tents were absolutely amazing, like I more than I expected. Um, so I guess I'll just go through everything. So pretty much they are a five minute golf cart ride from the festival and they're set up and like owned by Coachella. Um, so pretty much the way it works is they're all just like in rows and you get assigned a number. You know, Mads and I each had our own bed. There was an air conditioning unit and like a table, a mirror, a fridge, whatever. And then the bathrooms and the showers. I actually meant to like take a video and show you guys, but I forgot. But they were like really nice amenities. Um, you know, they were like shared, but they just had um there's like trailer bathrooms they were really nice super clean um you know the showers had hot water everything was totally 100 percent good and then yeah so then we had golf carts that would take us you know back and forth from the festival to the tents and then also there was um golf carts that would take us from stage to stage which they also have for all um artist passes they had this big lounge in the middle of all the tents that had um, food, so they had breakfast, which was amazing. They had like, you know, like cereal, pastries, omelet bar, eggs, French toast, smoothie bar, like all of this crazy stuff. And then they had late night food for us that was after the festival was over until like 3 a.m. And it was so good. It was literally like a full dinner, so like extensive. Like one night they had like filet mignon, like every night we'd get back and just be like, yes, because you know, you don't have a lot of time to eat at the festival. Like I honestly barely ate, um, but it was just, so like so 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 amazing but yeah no we made so many friends it's like a whole little community a lot of people you know come back every year they know the staff the staff was absolutely amazing they were so helpful you know anything we needed they had it for us and then they also had these like free 30 minute massages that we didn't end up doing but they sounded really great um but honestly just the convenience was amazing because the past years, as I've said before, we stayed at the Ritz Carlton, which is in Palm Springs. So it was like 45 minutes away and then plus traffic, it would take like an hour and a half to two hours, especially at the end of the night to like go and find the car. And then it was just a mess being able to just, you know, leave, hop on a golf cart and go back to the tent and just be back in like literally five minutes was amazing. We really like, there was never a really long line. We never had to wait for a golf cart. You know, they were always there right away for us. And they also had like waters and coffees, um, like in coolers for us every time we went to take a golf cart, like whether it was back to the safari tent or just like stage to stage. So honestly, just honestly, now that I've stayed there, I feel like I can never go back to a regular hotel. And I'm very high maintenance, so like, for me to say that it was like sufficient, that says a lot, um, but yeah. So those are all the questions you guys asked me. Um, I think that pretty soon I am gonna be doing a like rating slash reviewing festival outfits with my two friends and obviously we're not qualified to do that, but you know what, whatever, why not? Um, but yeah, so I head back to school on Monday night and I'm pretty excited to go back. I have like two weeks and then I'm done for the year, which is, crazy like my freshman year is over um definitely gonna have some tea videos about the first year of college for you guys pretty soon um so as always make sure to subscribe down below hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you know when i post also all my socials are linked down below and i will see you guys soon bye Hello.